boys and girls, welcome to Live Like a Berry, Play Like a Berry. Today we are going to have story time. We are reading School Rules by Robert Munch. If you've got a copy, go and grab it. On Friday, when the bell rang and school was done, Cassandra hid underneath her desk and did not go home, even when all the other kids got dressed and left. She did not go home even after the teacher ran out to get to the bank before it closed. Cassandra hid underneath her desk and did not go home when the janitor with the tattoos on his arms mopped the floor. Cassandra hid underneath her desk and did not go home even when the slightly scary principal turned off all the lights and locked the front door. Then Cassandra finally got out from underneath her desk, turned on the lights, and pulled out all her favorite stuff. When it was time for dinner, Cassandra's father said to her mother, Where is Cassandra? I don't know, said her mother. I haven't seen her. I thought she was with you. So they ran around and yelled and screamed and hollered and called Cassandra's grandmother and all the neighbors. Then they called the police and the fire department and the hospital. Finally, Cassandra's father walked over to the school and saw the light on in her classroom. He banged on the window until Cassandra opened it. He yelled, We thought you were lost. We thought you were kidnapped. What are you doing staying here in school? I like school, said Cassandra. I don't care if you like it, said her father. You can't stay at school. You have to come home sometime. But I like school, said Cassandra. This is nuts, said her father. He jumped through the window, picked up Cassandra, and carried her home. The next day was Saturday. Her father said, You can't go to school. Her mother said, You can't go to school. Cassandra said, But I like school. Her mother and father both yelled, You can't go to school. There is no school today. But Cassandra got on her bicycle and rode over to the school anyway. She knocked on the door, but nobody answered. She tried the window but it was shut tight. So Cassandra got back on her bicycle and rode down the street until she came to the everything store. She walked inside and said, I want to buy a school. What sort of school? said the lady behind the counter. I want a school with dirty red bricks, a slightly scary principal, a very nice teacher, and a janitor with tattoos on his arms, said Cassandra. Oh, said the lady, we have lots of those. Where do you want it sent? Send it, said Cassandra, to my back yard. The next day was Sunday. Cassandra's mother and father got up and went downstairs. They looked out the window and saw a school with dirty red bricks sitting in their backyard. There was a janitor out front cleaning the windows. Her father looked at her mother, and her mother looked at the father, and they both yelled, Cassandra! Cassandra came running downstairs and said, My school! It came! This is so wonderful! She ran out the back door, said hi to the janitor, got scolded by the principal for being late, and went into the classroom with the nice teacher. And at recess, she told all her friends how to buy a school of their own. <laughs> and we can see here, boys and girls, that all her friends took her advice and they bought schools of their very own. How many schools can you see? Do you like your school? Comment down below what your favorite part about school is and if you would like to buy your very own school. If you like this book, don't forget to go and ask mom and dad to take it out of the library or even to buy a copy of your very own. 
It's called School Rules, and it was written by Robert Munch. See you next time, boys and girls. Goodbye.